Hi, I'm Ashley, and this is Mia. In this video, we will be learning about correlative conjunctions. Are you ready? Let's go. You already know a lot about conjunctions. You know that conjunctions are words that join words, phrases, or clauses, kind of like a link in a chain. You know about the coordinating conjunctions, aka the fanboys, for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. They're the ones we usually find between the words, phrases, and clauses that are being joined together. Like in these sentences, I could go for a burger and fries. Mom says to pick fish, chicken, or meatloaf. Meatloaf is like a giant burger, so that works for me. You also know about the subordinating conjunctions, like after, although, as, when, while, until, before, because, if, since. That's not all of the subordinating conjunctions, but it's a list of the ones we use the most often. Remember awoobus words? Subordinating conjunctions are the ones you find at the beginning of a dependent clause. As in, when you put a slice of meatloaf on a bun, it's basically a hamburger. And that brings us to the third and final type of conjunctions, correlative conjunctions. Correlative begins with co, which means with or together. The word relative is also in there because correlative conjunctions are related, kind of like a couple of cousins who get along really well and like to do stuff together. Correlative conjunctions are conjunctions that work in pairs to join or relate words or word groups in a sentence. These conjunction pairs appear at two different places in the same sentences, like either or and neither nor. For example, when someone tells me you can have either chicken or fish, and I say, I'll choose neither chicken nor fish. Another pair of correlative conjunctions is whether or, as in, whether you already knew this or you just learned it, you know one thing for sure about me. Both burgers and meatloaf are on my A-list. Did you catch that? Two more correlative conjunctions are both and. So, when you see conjunctions working together like either or, neither nor, both and, whether or, and even, not only, but also, you know you're dealing with some correlative conjunctions. Remember, correlative conjunctions work in pairs to join or relate words or word groups in a sentence. Not only remember that, but also remember to always be clever. Hey.